Well, as the surge effort in southeastern B.C. continues closer to home, emergency personnel are preparing, practicing for the worst. Imagine a school bus jam-packed with children pushed onto its side after a collision with another vehicle. For parents, it would be a nightmare. For first responders, it would be a challenge. But practice makes perfect, and that's why in the Comox Valley today, fire crews and emergency teams spent a day handling what would be a worst-case scenario. CTV's Jet Bassey has the story. Oh, hurt. One by one, they take them out. Firefighters and paramedics responding to children trapped in a bus. You can hear the child's pain as she cries. <laughs> It's a mock accident scenario cooked up by the various Comox Valley first response teams. An opportunity for the organizations to hone their skills for the real thing. So all of those things that you have to think about in an event like this are being dealt with by the crews. The school bus was headed to a scrapyard. They thought, why not put it to better use? After three weeks of planning, it was time to put the fire departments and BC Ambulance Service to the test. They were challenged by many scenarios. A biker pinned under a bus, victims in cars, and a school bus filled with kids, all needing medical attention. We train together all the time in Comox and, and Oyster River. Where we get an opportunity is vital to uh, doing scenes like this, to know each other, know what equipment they have. Cumberland Fire and Rescue Chief Mike Williamson is calling the shots. Okay, we got one patient right here and one patient over in the bush. Okay. He leads his crew on how to manage the situation. He orchestrates the game plan on how to rescue the victims as safely and quickly as possible. Everybody needs to stay calm, complete their tasks, and report back. And if that all happens, uh, things run smooth. The 30 firefighters on scene work together on their tasks. Some break through the windshield, cut through metal and get to the frightened children. The uh, first responders that are in there have to hand to hand pass these people out on spine boards out through the front uh, uh, window and so it does take a lot of people uh, uh, to do that. Five paramedics were on scene attending the victims. It was an opportunity they couldn't pass up. We had about 29 patients uh, with uh, injuries that were made up as, as real as they could be and uh, overall the, the triage and uh, treatment component went uh, very well. The commanders were pleased with the performance of the crew they safely rescued all the victims in 90 minutes. They will debrief and smooth out the wrinkles of the operation, working together to improve just in case. Jet Bassey, CTV News, Black Creek.